What is up, you beautiful people? And welcome back to another Shellcast Sunday. We are going to be Shellcasting a very long 2v3 uh, sent in here by Inflames. Uh, and yeah, so apparently on his team he has a Manx as well. So it's actually going to be um, this week's Brawl. This exact week's Brawl, but obviously if you guys are watching this in the future, let me tell you what the Brawl modifiers are. I don't know if I can actually get rid of this little, this little hoverboard menu thing here. I think at most I can... Make it smaller like that, but that's about as small as it gets. But yeah, the Brawl Modifiers, there's no middle income. There's a cord over here. Looks like there's a Dahaka here. Uh, and if you see over here, there's a bunch of mercenaries, uh, Mobius capsules and stuff. So you can get, you can also get some, uh, you can also get some um, Terran mercenaries. So that's, uh, that's, that's basically it. You got some Terran mercenaries, you got some, you got some hybrid. And no middle income. So uh, this is gonna be a 45 minute game. So we're about to get something real spicy here. We got a we got a Draken laser drill coming out here from Hanzi. Ah, Hans, run! It's the we got the Manx here. Okay, so it's the Haka Swan and Manx versus I believe Inflames is playing Vorazun, and then we have a Nova here. Okay, there we go, and we have Manx over here. All right, well that's gonna be a super interesting matchup here. So yeah. Uh, great, I'm against the Haka. It's actually not too bad of a matchup for Minx. You just need like uh, the Haka to get massive and uh, get a few Sky Theories, and that'll be it. So, yeah, I think I think that's, this is about as small as I can get the, um, the 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 bar to be. I don't think I can totally get rid of it unless like I don't know, there's something I don't know about. And it, if there is a button to get rid of it, I can uh, just let me know. So Inflames here is just letting everyone just make sure you, to ground a couple Sky Theories once he gets massive. Yep, that is. That is the most important tip against the Haka. I think just get boys as well. Like getting boys and then just getting some grounded Sky Furies and uh, no problem. No problem at all. And also like some some shock divisions as well. Maybe one or two here and there. Um, just to hold on the ground here. But yeah. So this week's brawl usually just is gonna start off really slowly. Um, but yeah. Oh, I think Osiris is new to Manx. He's not. He doesn't realize that uh, Sky Furies do bonus damage to massive. Um, so there we go. There we go. It's always good to tell your teammates what to do. Uh, I have a habit of not doing that enough, I think, because I'm just like, I don't want to backseat game. I don't know, man. Like, some people are like, yo, bro, why are you telling me to do this, man? And they overreact. And so I'm just like, all right, dude, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, we'll, just have to, uh, we'll just have to watch this uh, unfold. Uh, boom, boom, boom. There we go. We got lots of LMG boys come in here. <laughs> and I don't know, I'm just enjoying the sound of the laser beam and like, I don't know, just enjoying the day. It's a nice Sunday today. Like, I'm recording this on Sunday. Uh, one of my bad habits for Showcast Sundays is that I, I record it on Sunday. Um, so, today's video, if you're watching it on the day it came out, is gonna be late. Because, um, yeah, it's my fault. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> but yeah, so Inflames here is giving some nice advice here. We got some couple of shockers. And actually, Inflames, sending me a message IRL right now. He's down for some games. Let me say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to reply. Can I reply while I'm in, in a replay? Ah, there we go. Uh, I'll be down. Ah. <laughs> Well, there we go. So, but uh, Inflames is gonna have to wait for like 45 minutes because he played this game, so he knows. <laughs> and there we go. It's gas up. There's no mid income this week, so yeah, th yeah. So for, for this week with the Accord modifier, you should be gassing up because um, normally middle income gives you the advantage in money, but because there's no middle income, um, you won't have an advantage from taking mid, but you will also not have like you'll also need gas in order to get ahead. Uh, it means that like you, it'll be easier to recover, uh, and it'll be It'll be it'll be a lot more fair, I think. I actually prefer Accord because I think like having that bonus mill income kind of makes it harder to come back because it's just the cumulative just cumulative upkeep of money just coming in over and over again. Uh, but it looks like Inflames is against um, is Inflames against Swan. Inflames is against Swan. Enemy Max just went and rolled out double shock divisions here. That's crazy. Okay, Nova's got some Marauder Commandos and some Hammer Securities pretending to be Marauder Commandos, but you can tell that they're Hammer Securities because they die in like one and a half shots, uh, while Marauder Commandos can take like two hits or so, two or three hits. Um, so yeah. You'd think like they're wearing the same suit, so like how come they have more health, you know? 
I don't know, that doesn't seem to make sense. I don't know. I guess Marauder Commandos are like substantially bigger though in size. Um, yeah, they are quite quite chonky. Uh, Shock Division here just getting eaten here. The Hawk is just overrunning this position. I would suggest Manx get some Flame Boys, um, to be honest, but yeah. Um, there we go. There we go. I got some Shadow Guard. I assume these are Shadow Guard. I haven't selected them, but... I'm, I'm thinking they're Shadow Guard, based on how fast they chop up those uh, chop up those um, things. Yeah, these are Shadow Guard Hellbats. Yeah, because the Hellbats have like three hit, they have three hits and they're done um, from a Shadow Guard. So that's what I'm assuming here. Um, we got some Swan Rates here coming in. We got some more. We got some Banshees. Uh, Nova's got some some Siege Tanks here. Popity pop pop. Um, Nova's tanks can contest Manx tanks, but I think this week if uh, it might actually be better for Nova to get Libs because of um, the Banshees. Because um, the Libs won't be hit by the Banshees, um, and they can kill anything that's on the ground pretty nicely. That actually gives me a great idea, because I haven't I haven't made this week's videos yet either, because I've just been trying to, I don't know, get, get stuff in order. I've been finding myself being a, a little bit busier than normal, even though I'm not like actually busy. It's just, I guess it's just like the new environment, you know? Being in a new environment just sort of... Everything hit a little different. Now I'm also working on like a new routine, like because I'm trying to I'm trying to get real fit for summer as well. So that's that. It's actually kind of low key, kind of hard. You gotta pay so much attention to like it's like a bunch of math and then like consistency, and then like also figuring out like what's the optimal food. <laughs> there we go. I need to get myself some chicken. I'll be honest, like not chicken nuggets, but like IRL chicken. You know? uh, anyways, um, we got some corsairs here. They're gonna melt through those uh, banshees like they are nothing. Nova's got two tanks to Manx's one, and yep, no chance here. I mean, the hammer security is also helpful a lot. Hammer security is in the, ham uh, the commandos. Hammer commandos. <laughs> Marauder commandos. Uh, the Hawk has got some nice uh, impalers in the back here. Gonna run over there. Zerglings just overrunning the tanks here. Manx got some flame boys at the front. LMG boys, and there we go. Uh, and oh, Nova just disconnected here. So now this is the part where the game becomes a 2v3, and that's this is where things get real interesting, is what I'm assuming here. Because currently everyone's evenly matched. Swan has actually got a, a good amount of air units coming in here. Um, I think Swan air kind of struggles into Vorzoon though, because um, the the science vessels just melt the face off of the. Uh, I mean, not science vessels. Corsairs melt the face off of the science vessels. Maybe because Swan has access to um, the 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 Hell's Angels, this might actually change things up, because because um, Vorzun's only anti-air unit really is like, what, the Void Ray? The Void Rays have superior range compared to the Wraiths, so they'll easily like burn a hole through the Wraiths much quicker, um, and Goliaths just get hard countered by Corsairs, they just they just get memed on by Corsairs, so I'm assuming that's probably why the game goes on a little longer, because I think Vorzun's air- oh, we got some invisible Hell's Angels coming in here! Ooh. Yeah, because like Vorzun and Air can uh, can just can just slap Swan. Uh, we got some Oracles coming in here. They're gonna neutralize all of those Hydras here. Dahaka has no worms. Oh, he has worms. I just guess he just didn't bother using them. Um, so this wave is gonna stack up real nice with Manx's wave here. Manx has got a lot of boys, a um, lot of links at the front, and oh, okay, there we go. Goliath's being forced to run forward, but they are. They're doing it. Actually, no, no, they got they got overrun there. There we go. Uh, now, is this a bunker, or this is just a bunch of base defenses? Uh, I'm guessing it's just a bunch of base defenses. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's just two invisible spacecraft flying next to each other. Um, unfortunately, one of them has been detected. Got some more rates coming in here. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Rates don't stand a chance. We got a scan over here. Banshees coming in. Banshees are are just super good here. Got to get Black Hammer. Black Hammer this week is pretty good. Okay, all those tanks just got unsliced by those Corsairs. Uh, Manx has probably the thickest detector of them all. It's like 350 health. I mean, I guess actually no, that's, that's a lie. Dahaka is, Dahaka is the thickest. Is the thickest. 40. I think mean, he has like 4,000. Can get get up to like 4,000, 5,000 health. Um, so yeah, we got a uh, we got some hybrid coming out here. They're 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 they're, they're, they're blasting the way through. Boom. And then we got some more units over here. Corsair's in the front now, and then Banshees are in the back. Um, Invisible Hell's Angels unslicing. Those Goliaths are just getting sliced by those Corsairs. You guys see that? Those Goliaths just didn't stand a chance. They just got sliced into pieces. And then Swan has some ground units for some reason. 
if you're playing Swan against Warzone, I think, especially this week, I think it's probably better to go for Thors if you do want to get a ground unit, because I think Thors do air splash, and Warzone's Corsairs are also light, and Thors do bonus damage to light, so you can hopefully like splash it down. But even then, it's not advisable because uh, Warzone's like Warzone just really messes with ground units. Um, she's basically like Abathur. So the same thing. You got a hybrid charging up a Yamato here, only doing 300 damage. Unfortunate. Is that a witness has 350 health? There is a black hammer coming in here, and that could give us some trouble here. Uh, but you see, the Corsair doesn't actually get close enough to the black hammer to unslice it. And Thor's have 11 range, so I think they can probably do something similar to what the black hammers do. Uh, oh, unless of course there's no detection. Um, the Corsairs are just chilling over here. Oh, and. There they go, they just get melted here, but that's okay. Um, but yeah. I think as Swan, if you if you have mercenary access, just buy lots and lots of Hell's Angels and Science Vessels, and, I don't know, rates. Like, don't even bother having ground units. If you do have ground units, it's probably the Thors that'll be the best. But yeah, like against Thorzoon, I don't know. Um, and probably Thors, like, slightly further back. But they do have quite a lot of range, though, so they'll probably not expose themselves to the Corsairs. But yeah. You can see Corsairs coming in here. There's a huge range of Corsairs. Or not huge range, like just a giant horizontal row of Corsairs, unslicing those tanks, uh, preventing things from attacking here, but... Oh, that's... well, that's it. Corsairs don't shoot down, unfortunately. Oh, man. When I first started playing Brood War, like, back in, like, freaking early days of high school, I was pretty small-brained, so when I got the Corsair, I was like, what does this unit do? What is Disruption Web? Does it do damage? I don't like this unit. <laughs> I don't know. I was I was like I was just like fresh out of playing Red Alert 2, so like Red Alert 2 had no units with special abilities. They were just like, you know, you build this unit, it shoots things at other units, that's it. But yeah. Uh, okay, so Inflames offering some helpful tips here. Getting a grounded Sky Fury because the hot guy is massive. Uh, Sky Fears do like 100 damage. Oh, he does have Sky Fears, so they're just chilling over here. Um, and if they land on the ground, they just do so much damage against the Hakka. I think. I think Sky Theories can also hit the Haka in the air once the Haka is physically big enough, if I'm not mistaken. I think once they're physically big enough, you can easily clap them. Those Impalers have just been going to town here, holy, no one's been stopping them. They're a menace, boys. Somebody control them. Okay, we got the we got the DTs here, the Shadow Guards. We got a Mind Control from the Dark Archons coming out here. Um, oh man, that Black Hammer just got melted here. Uh, Impaler, just impaling... Did the Impaler get mind controlled? What's happening? Impaler impaling that tank. Uh, so we got some Hells Angels over here. The Hakka's Mutalists are just gonna get melted by the Corsairs, though. Ooh. Got some units coming in here. I mean, this is a pretty even battle so far. We haven't really gotten past the middle line too much. We got a Thor coming out from Swan. There we go. Um, Swan still has his two tanks. Lamau. Uh, but that's, that's basically it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blast through there. Boom. Boom. Okay. 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 Uh, Black Hammer's just going to town, boys. He's just chilling. We're on Black Hammer cam right now. Um... All right, all right. We got double black hammer action here. There's just lots and lots of dead air units. Dahaka's pushing through. We got another black hammer on the ground here, just shooting the other black hammer. And then black hammer number two here. He's gonna go to town, unless does he get bamboozled by archons? Oh, he got unsliced. He got unsliced. Okay, no, he's back. No, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Well, he's, I mean, I don't know. The corsairs do disrupt black hammer pretty hard. We got some invisible archons here. There's no detection against Warzone. You just you should just scan every wave. Uh, oh my God! This guy's asking the real questions now, man. Should I get a pry? Well, nah. Okay. Oh, that's three black hammers. Ooh. I mean, yeah. There's an enemy man, so it's probably not a good idea to get it. Get a get a pry. Just probably just get more map. Yeah, more shock divisions. I was gonna say get some more black hammers. Nah, more shock divisions makes sense. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the blue side. Uh, Manx is just, that looks, those black hammers just looks, oh, so good. And they got mind controlled, and now they're in flames with black hammers now. <clears throat> All your black hammers belong to us. Uh, and now they're back. 
the other side. There we go. But yeah. I think I think I think yeah, just the uh, Banks has to go, has to anchor on the ground here and in Flames has got the air. And a 2v3 that's like pretty good because like then you have more consistency. Also Skyfear is completely wrecked black hammers. Um because they are massive. There we go, boom 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 boom. Black hammer's doing its best here to try and hold it down, but Oh, the shock divisions might be able to hold it down here. We got some more units coming in here. Shadow Guard blinking in, slicing up that tank. They're getting irradiated here. Uh, and, ooh, rip Shadow Guard. Black Hole coming out here. I'm still waiting for the hybrid. It's 50 minutes and no one has dropped, like, a significant amount of hybrids. So I'm, I'm pretty spiced up here. We got some we got some Black Hammers coming in here. Getting mind control. Black Hammers do a lot of damage per shot, by the way. Uh, shock divisions here. Blasting, a, cleaning up those other Black Hammers. Okay. All right, I'm game. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Black Hammer, so you're gonna hit up those Mutalisks here. Then there's gonna get shredded. Um, yeah, those Mutalisks don't stand much of a chance here. I don't know. Okay, well, I don't know. Like, the Black Hammer AoE Splash is just so good. It doesn't do a lot of damage per hit, but it hits really fast, so that makes more than makes up for it. Black Hammer staying alive here is gonna hopefully get protected by Inflames' Wave at, to the best of its ability. The Laser Beam was on it. Um, we got a stolen Thor here. What is Swan building though? It seems like he's got a bit of everything. Uh, we got some Ultralisks coming out here. Unsliced bread. I'm getting sliced up here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, there we go. Alright. Got some Thors at the front. Is that a Black Hammer or is that a Thor? That was a Thor. Uh, we got a Sky Fury here. That's just gonna rip through those Black Hammers. Um, of course though, it's not attacking the Black Hammers, it's attacking the uh, other unit. Uh, and anyway, Black Hammer gets eaten here. The Haka rolling up here. Okay. Got massive amounts of confusion coming out here. I think Vorzwing's Archons do a bit of splash damage too, so like they could splash down those Mutalists really, ni really nicely here. The Haka is just being a pain to kill. Um, yeah, he's been a whole. He's been a pain to kill. He is not going down. Well, that is until Manx's wave shows up here. Uh, Swan has just gone for some tanks and some Thors. Uh, I would prefer if you filled the entire field with Thors. I don't know. I don't know. The Thors just like the Thor splash, Thor health, just everything about the Thors. They can at least take a few hits from shock divisions. Um, your own tanks don't really stand much of a chance. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Just black hammers, man. There's all siege stuff here. Okay, well they're all got, they all got stolen. Shock divisions are, are dead. Um, and now the black hammers. Oh, the archons actually steal the detection, which is really good. Um, and the stolen black hammers aren't actually doing too much damage. Like they aren't being saved for later per se. Really, they're they're pretty much surrounded by enemy units. Um, but yeah. I'm curious. Wouldn't void wouldn't void rays be okay here? I guess not, they wouldn't be good against the Haka and his Mutalisk, I guess that would be it. But against like Swan and Manx, which have so much mechanical air, they wouldn't be too bad. Like Corsairs cover your Void Rays bases too, so I feel like, I feel like some Void Rays wouldn't be bad. I feel like they wouldn't be bad, we'll have to see here. Just gonna blast our way through, burning our way through. Um, okay. We're getting so close to the cannon here, but just not able to push through. We got some stolen Thors here, and now they're back. Stolen Thors here. Do they have the barrages still? They don't have the barrages. Did he disable anti-air weapons on the Thors? This is one of those situations where you don't want to disable anti-air weapons on the Thors because, like, their their AOE is actually respectable. Um, that's a Tyrannosaur, man. Jesus, can that thing get mind controlled? I think it's it's got the Ultralisk status, right, which makes it not mind controllable but I think it's about to die here yep just exploded there holy okay black hammer over here oh okay we've got some stolen impalers invisible hell's angels engaging our opponents here but oh that's, that's that's pretty much it there they're done they're done black hammer coming in we got some Thors in the back uh, we got some stuns okay the Goliaths are just way too squishy, man. Uh, like, at least the Thoros can take a few hits from the tanks. I think, I think actually, we need more science vessels as Swan. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to examine the builds right now. I'm, I'm, we're going to leave the battlefield for half a second here. 
This is a swan's build. Um, I'm not. I'm not, obviously not much of a swan expert. I'm not. I don't play swan much, but I don't know. I feel like Thor's would just be very good. I don't know. Thor's and lots of science vessels. Um, if anything, there's only two science vessels, which is generally a bad sign. Um, like Swan needs the science vessels. He absolutely needs them. It just feels kind of bad building them because they're kind of expensive, but it's also like, ah, oh, you need them. <laughs> you need them. <sighs> Otherwise, like you're just gonna die, you know. Um, but yeah, we're just, uh, just blasting our way through here. Lots and lots of units here. Okay. Three shock divisions trying to hold it down here, but they're just getting slapped by the Hawk. The Hawk is going down. We got the barrage coming in here. Also, the barrage is great for the uh, for the ground stun. Can can they stun Archons? I think they can stun Archons. I'm not sure. Archons are massive. Usually, massive units don't get stunned. They might get slowed, which is still not bad. Like slowing Archons is still not bad. Uh, Thor is here, just getting their back rubbed by some invisible dark Archons. I'm calling it a back rub because the dark Archons don't actually do too much damage. I don't know. They do like 20 something damage per hit. Um, I guess that's quite a lot if you don't have a lot of health, but comparatively, it's not a lot. Um, okay, so we got a okay. We got some Sky Furies here. The Sky Furies are gonna help annihilate those uh, enemy. Okay, I was gonna say enemy black hammers, but you know they, the Sky Furies just kind of fell over and died. But yeah, they, they, they did a good enough job. I don't know. It's good enough. It was good enough. We got some shock divisions here. They're still alive here. The is literally right on top of them. Shock divisions are just like. Yup, let's just keep blasting. We got some invisible boys here. We got some. Oh, okay. But because Vorzun's entire wave was invisible, and Flames' entire wave was invisible, they just, they just all got up. Okay, we got one, two hybrid. I don't really like the hybrid dominator. Like you see the blue one over here, like this one over there. It's too much minerals for too little stuff. It's like got two thousand health, and it has a Yamato cannon which charges up, and I don't quite like Yamatos to begin with. And it's got a Psy Storm. It's just a regular Psy Storm. Oh, Inflames has got the Hybrid Destroyers coming in here. Now that is going to be a powerful wave. Because Hybrid Destroyers, you can see here, they're picking up the Ultralisk here. They're acting as DPS in the back, keeping everything safe. Or, or they're keeping themselves safe. And then all these units are picked up by the Black Hole. That has got to be the cannon. If it's not the cannon, then I don't know what it is going to be. Uh, Corsairs are coming here, unslicing all those units here. Forcing every them to come forward. Got some Shock Divisions, Blast Henry. Can's taking some damage. Tyrannosaur getting lifted up into the air. We got a reinforcements coming in. We guys, no more defensive structures left. This has to be the cannon, boys. This has to be the cannon. Come on, boys. Oh my god, those boys just got picked up and dropped off. There it is. That's the cannon, boys. I'm going to be pushing in here. So I'm guessing a second push like this is going to end the game. Because this game does go to 45 minutes. So there's 23 more minutes of this game. So I'm assuming that's what's going to happen here. That being said, though, there are enemy hybrid that are still to be used. Um, so I don't know. Maybe we're going to see some enemy hybrid. Thor's getting picked up here. Man, that's the thing. That's why I love about the hybrid destroyers. Like they can CC units that don't normally get CC'd. And oh my god, enemy manks here coming in here with one, two, three, four, five, six big hybrid, seven hybrid, but like six of them like super expensive and big ones. The hybrid destroy behemoths. Uh, I would have just built all hybrid behemoths. I'll be honest. Uh, huge amounts of damage here. Uh, the behemoths, although, are massive, though, so they actually are kind of bad against Minx. Um, oh, there's a stealth tank here. There's an invisible tank here. Uh, unfortunately, it's gone now. Uh, but that could be pretty spicy coming out here. Invisible tank. We got a scan here. Uh, and then, yeah. Yeah, I think I think at the end of the day, I think um, Vorzun really doesn't do too much damage. So, yeah, I think Inflames is probably right here on his assessment here. Um... Yeah, just got the got the huge stall CC, mess around, and then we got hybrid destroyers coming out here from Sawan. That's gonna that's gonna leave a mark, boys. That's gonna leave a mark. Let's pick them all up. Boom, boom. Okay, got some black hammers over here. Graviton prison. Graviton prison also does a damage over time, which is great. Uh, just you know, additional makes it even stronger than it only is. I wish you could build hybrid normally in Direct Strike and have them spawn every single wave and not leave. Like, what if hybrid just didn't leave your staging field? Like, you just have one permanently. How would that change the game? You know? I feel like that would be pretty cool. Like, you just permanently have, hy permanently have hybrid. But there's so many tanks. Uh, Inflames does have some invisible tanks here, but they're, they're, they're not long for this world because uh, the enemy line is closing in on them. Um... Man, I think this might end up being the cannon for the enemy team here. Because they are pulling in. 
Uh, we got four shock divisions trying to hold it down here, but that's not going to be enough. The cannon is going down. We got some stalkers coming in here to try and hold the front lines. Do some blink action here. We got that huge death stack going on here. There we go. Bam. Bam. Okay, we got black hammers just, just, just vibing up here. Holy... I'm assuming they hold here because there's still 20 more minutes to this game. But okay, Black Hammer's just cleaning up the skies here. There's three of them here. We got some shock divisions. I think there's five shock divisions on the ground here. They're, they're taking on all those Thors. Black Hammer on Black Hammer. Ooh, okay. Black Hammer on Thor action. We got some Creeper Hosts coming out. There's another wave. This is the Manx wave. That might be a little spicy here. Manx wave is going to be kind of powerful. Things are looking not too great right now. I'll be honest. It's, it lo it's looking like it could be GG. But, oh, detection is all gone. Bread has been unsliced. All the units have been unseized. We've got some stolen units here. I'm going to make them fight each other. Uh, and, oh, okay. Oh, that's so dicey. That was barely cleaning up. That barely cleaned all of it up. Okay, Tyrannosaur is going to charge forward here. Oh, no, he's, he's stuck on the hockey. He's, he's trying to attack. Him. There's a hybrid being dropped, and then he's got dropped. Um... Earth Shaker Cannon is on like two health right now, or Earth Splitter, I should say. Earth Shaker is more hammer, but I don't know. I suppose it's the same thing, right? Um, and then, all right, Swan's Wave Hope is still trying to push through here, but the assault looks like it's blunted. Oh yeah, it's got it's it's been blunted here. Swan's units here are just gonna get confused, bamboozled, stolen, um, everything. All those stores just got stolen here by those Dark Archons. So maybe Thor's, I don't know. It's a hard, it's a tough matchup for Swan. Like a Vorzoon. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's any, because Swan is pu almost pure ground. Actually, no, he's he's basically all ground. Is that a, that is a pride, boyby. That's a pride, baby. I mean, I guess when there's that many black hammers, well, actually, <laughs> three black hammers look like they are melting through that pride. <laughs> oh my god, that pride got deleted, boys. Uh, I mean, three black hammers is like 3,000 minerals, though. A pride is only 1.6, so I would hope that three black hammers would do that to a pride. I also feel like that pride is only like tier one, so he only has like 800 health, which is not a lot. Um, but yeah, that was looking pretty pretty dicey here. Um, all right, all right, big blast over here. We got some invisible tanks. Maybe they can. They can do something? I mean, we got we got an invisible tank that's about to time out. Uh Pride dropping its Yamato here. I feel like those invisible tanks are secretly gonna do some some good work here. Manx also putting out some tanks of his own uh, on top of the shock divisions. Um yeah, also also like these tanks, like the siege breakers, will have a circle around them to indicate their range. I think that's just like that's just how they're built, I guess. Um but yeah, maybe maybe Tia added those in just so I can see like range indicators because other siege tanks have like a, a dotted line indicator. So yeah, um, we got some hybrid coming out here. Two hybrid behemoths. We're gonna have to drop those guys. Um, you know, just to hold the line here. But holy, it looks like it's kind of working here. It do be kind of work. Okay, black hammers here blasting. Okay. Oh, okay. Got some confusions coming out here. All right. Oh, shock division is getting stunned by those stores here. Thor's dropping some hits here. Some more shots coming off here. Yeah, that's the reason why I like the Thor's though. It's just like they just completely slap all those ground units here. Uh, okay. Thor's getting bamboozled. We got some tanks in the back. They got they got sliced. They got their bread unsliced, boys. That's about it here. We got Thor's who's just going boom, 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 boom. Wiping the skies clean here. Holy. Alright. That's about it. Okay. We got, a, we got a Yamato here just sounding off. LMG boys running bravely forward into uh, into the giant cannons of death. <sighs> Holy. All these units are just getting, just getting, just getting mashed, boys. Just getting mashed. Um, more Hell's Angels here, getting confused. This huge Dahaka blob here, just getting sliced up with the, with the Corsair disruption web here. 
We got one one little hybrid destroyer here. It's gonna get knocked out here. And here we go, Invisible Hell's Angels. Trying to hold it back here They're against the Wraiths. And the Mutalus at the front here. We got more we got more Sky Furies, got some black hammers coming in. We got a Yamato coming out here. Oh my god. I suppose they're holding it out pretty nicely here. Holy. Oh, okay. Swan has more science vessels now. He has like one more, at least. I don't know. Maybe I should look at his staging here. But yeah. Uh, I'm not a great spawn player myself, so I shouldn't be throwing stones. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I, I just don't play Swan enough because it's, it's just kind of hard to get him off the ground. Um, but yeah. Usually once at this point in the game, Swan should be doing pretty nice to hear. Oh, we got an invisible Dark Archon. That got eaten. This Dark Archon got eaten, but it's still it's still shooting its... Uh-huh? Is that Archon okay? That Archon was most definitely not okay. Um, anyways. There we go. I don't know if August Grad's gonna hold it down here. I mean, I feel like I feel like August Grad's will end up winning the game. Uh, I think we're just delaying the inevitable here. I don't know. It's looking like a pretty strong hold here. Holy! Got some more hybrid behemoths coming out here. It does look like they're just trying to hold it, hold the line. They're just trying to hold the line, boys. Hold the line. Oh, we got a Gorgon. Gorgon class battle cruiser coming over here. Are these the Gorgon class battle cruisers? I don't remember. Like these ones here. Uh, yeah. Let's see what, what this Hell's Angel's up to. Oh, he's dead. Oh, man. Boom. There are so many shock divisions from enemy Manx here. He's just dominating the ground. Um, however. The August grad surviving could be bad, although the Haka could just eat it. Is he gonna eat it? Is he gonna eat it? He's he's not gonna eat it? Okay, he ate it, okay. He ate it. Because like the August grad just get numbed by the Haka here. Um which is why it's probably not a good idea to uh to get one. But you could get two if you're insane. Um <laughs> Oh the Haka going for some hops here. We got some void rays. Uh, a void ray, I suppose, I think. Is that no? There's two. There's two. Okay, two is is two enough to be some. I don't know. Uh, Swan's got some Thors now. He's got some more tanks in the back. He's got five, six science vessels, seven science vessels. I'm assuming some died in the process, but yeah. Got that Yamato getting dropped here. Enemies getting dropped here. And science vessels still just trying to hold it down. Invisible tanks are gonna be stacking, but the Ultralisk are are relentless here boys it's just up in the up right up in front oh man okay 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 i mean in flames in flames and uh his manx ally is pushing out they are pushing out it, it is happening it do be happening boys it do be happening Uh, yeah, it's all coming together, boys. Uh, the Haka, I think, is actually big enough to be hit by air units at this point, so I don't know. Because it seems like the Black Hammers are, are starting to attack him, which means that he's probably big enough to be hit by an air unit. Uh, lots and lots of Wraiths coming out here from Swan. Uh, Wraiths and Thors. You got some Ares bots in the front here, I think. Ares bots, though, are just, I don't know. They're not even... They're not that great, guys. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Ares bots. If they were customizable, where it's like you could switch the weapons they could have, where it's like you have a flamethrower Ares bot, you have a you have a anti infantry Ares bot. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense. You have like a utility Ares bot. You have an anti armor Ares bot. Maybe that might make them better. I don't know. Or would that just make them too versatile? Anyways, looks like we got some we got some pushback here. It's happening. Uh, those invisible tanks, the bamboozlement, just all, everything. That's why I don't know. Boris is kind of hard to fight against because of the dark archons. They just bamboozle everything. Um, it does get pretty pretty annoying. Um, it's like pseudo AOE basically. It just makes your makes your units shoot each other for a little bit. Um, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. 
Okay. Creeper host just not doing much. If the Haka had more creeper host, maybe that would do something. But yeah, some impalers here just trying to go off on those tanks. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. More bamboozlement here. We got a Thor here. The Thors are shooting each other here with their barrages. Oh, baby. I wonder if Swan has his barrages on autocast or does he have them on like microcast? Because uh, I don't know if that would make a difference too. Invisible tanks are in the back. Ultros are just going to walk right around them. Uh, and invisible tanks are just going to blast those Ultros here. Are there no detectors here? Oh, no, there are. Those tanks are dead. Manx has such a fat tank line too. Holy. We, gotta, we do got a... Oh, Yamato coming out here. That guy's still not ranked up to max rank. <laughs> That black hand, I mean, that, that August guy was like treading like just between all the black hammers there. I thought he was going to make it here. Um, and more ultras to front line here. That would make sense. The Haka's coming in with lots of ultras here. They're just going to charge, literally pushing back the wave. Um, I think I think the Haka's ultras are probably one of my favorite because of that charge that they got. They literally just knock everything back. Um, they're also the cheapest, I think. Because um, they don't really got anything special going on for them besides larger health pool. Um, and yeah. There we go. We got to... Okay. Invisible tanks driving forward here. Boom, boom. Unsliced units here. Okay. Got some more tanks. Yamato coming out. Boom. Alright, alright, alright. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. They're slowly pushing back. It do be happening. There's 10 more minutes to this game. I think. But yeah. It, it is supposed to be a 45 minute game, but yeah. Ultras here running forward. Every player on the enemy team actually has access to ult to Ultras except for Swan. Yeah, except for Swan. Hold them out. Uh, got some more units here just blasting. Unslicing all those tanks. Stealing some of those tanks and Thors. Making them shoot each other. This looks... This is looking real close here. Ultralis coming in here though. They cannot be mind controlled. I don't know if they can be bamboozled. They probably can't. Um, but those void rays are now dead, okay? Um, and that the Haka wave just went right through. Just went right through in flames' this wave here. Uh, Manx is over here though. He's got some Hell's Angels here. We got a Yamato coming out here. The Haka is uh, getting hit by the Black Hammer, so yeah, he, he's probably big enough now that he actually draws anti air aggro. Uh, which is. Good and bad, I guess. Good if you need an air tank. Bad if the, the Haka is your tank sort of thing. Uh, okay, I'm gonna blink backwards here. And we're done. Those racers took it out. And we got the bamboozled. We got the we got the Corsair slicing everything up to be bamboozled. Forcing the run forward with their disruption web here. And those Archons are just going right up in there and just Giving those, giving those Thors a nice hug. Swan's wave just gets obliterated every time. Like, holy. He <laughs> doesn't stand a chance. Uh, Manx's wave is like a rock, though. Like, look at that. You got, you got all those black hammers. got all those shock divisions. Like, jeez. That's a game, boys. Um, Alright. Alright. Holy! I'm just in, I'm just at a loss of words right now. I'm just observing all the carnage. Sometimes you just you know you just got to take a moment to take in the beauty of the situation. I think if the Haka got more creeper host, maybe that would work out. Get him to target ground units only. Uh, the Haka doesn't really have an air AOE option, which is unfortunate. But like. If he had him target Groundius only, they might actually potentially be pretty strong against um, the Archons. I don't know. That could also be a terrible choice and lead you down to, uh, you know, defeat. <laughs> uh. Okay. 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 
Thor's to slowly... Okay, just hammer down on all his units here. Ultra's running through that hammer barrage and dying. More Ultra's coming in, though. Skyfear is getting up into the sky here. Hell's Angel's gonna take out the August Grad. And boom. Okay. Tanks are totally surrounded by Ultralists. There's so many Ultralists. There's so many of them. Ooh. Okay, and then he's got vaporized right over there. There we go. All of those units getting unsliced by those Corsairs. Unseized. Unsliced. Unslices your bread. Let's go. Um, got some more. Ultra's coming in. It's, it's looking real close. I feel like one more hybrid push and in in Flames' team has got this. Um, unfortunately, Void Rays do no damage to the Haka, which is just uh, sad. The Haka, I think, is now big enough to actually auto attack air units, which means he does like probably like almost 200 damage per auto attack, but it also means he gets aggroed down by everything that hits air. Got some Creeper Hosts here. Do the Creeper Hosts have anti air upgrades? Because that's not the best if they go for the aerial explosion, because they don't do AoE. Uh, maybe once, maybe at one point in time they did, they did do AoE, and then they got nerfed. I don't know. I don't know if they ever, if, have they ever done AoE in co-op? That's, 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 a, that's a good question, you know? Uh, we got some hybrid coming in here. Uh, hybrid destroyers. Okay. The Thor's dropping their heavy cannons here, some, sometimes on each other, sometimes on the enemy wave. I'm getting some baby lag here myself from watching this replay. Okay, we've got some hybrid behemoths. They're rolling in here. Uh, in flames, the tanks are about to just get rolled over. Yup, there it is. They get they get them a few volleys off before they die, but that's about it. Uh, Yamato, we got it. We got a psychic. Uh, we got two like psychic and the psychic dominators, like hybrid dominators here. Holy! But uh, those hybrid dominators are probably just gonna get slapped here. They're gone. They're gone. August Grad is gone. Oh man. We got some hybrid behemoths coming out here. There's three of them. We got some Void Rays with no stealth. Void Rays with no stealth here. Behemoths going into the Dahaka wave here. Hopefully that might be helpful. Um, the Tyrannosaur is getting focused down by the Void Rays, but Tyrannosaur's got a lot of health. The Haka, I think, is dead. I don't see him anywhere. Yup. Oh man. Those behemoths just got melted. That was... Oh my god. Okay, we've got some invisible tanks here. They're still alive. Still dropping some shots here, but that tank is probably going to go down to the Earth Splitter when it lands. And yep, that Earth Splitter just smashed that tank in. But it's looking like this is a slow hold until they get pushed in. Ares boss just moving up here. Yeah. Whoo! Okay. Okay. Oh, Ares bot's getting unsliced, being forced to move forward here. Oh man, this is such a tight game here. Oracle's coming in, trying to vaporize everything they can, and they're just getting... They're just falling off the face of the earth here. Uh, Void Rays are burning through those Banshees, but we need them to burn through those ground units here. Invisible tanks are doing their best. Ooh. Enemy Manx has an August Grad now. Now that is going to be spicy here. I wonder if we can uh, steal it here for the mind control. Um, oh, August Grad on August Grad. We got an AoE from Allied August Grad. Look, there's two August Grads here. That is, that is a good choice, boys. That is a good choice, boys. Just, uh, just blast them. Just blast them. Uh, come on. Holy! Oh man. Yeah, those, I don't know, those creepers in the back are still, oh, nope, they're just getting smacked here by those shock divisions. Just some guardians over here though, they're just going forward. They're getting stolen though. And they're flying super, is it just me or are they moving super fast? Is it because of the strike weapon upgrades? I'm not even sure. Um... Okay, we got some more confusions coming in here. Uh, all right. 
All right, fours with their AOE splash cannons, splash rockets. Oh man. The tide is turning now. Ultral is running forward here. They're all just gonna get yeeted out of existence here. We got we got two Yamato's coming in here. Uh, Yamato's getting dropped under those siege tanks. Oh man, is it the second August grad that turned the tide? I don't know. Something 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 changed here, boys. Changing the wind. Oh, August Grad number one is gonna go down here. August Grad number two also went down. Sometimes the August Grad glitches and doesn't have a death animation. Just disappears into thin air. Uh, so we got some invisible tanks here. And one of them is getting impaled immediately. The impalers are on him. Laser beams focus firing Dahaka. Dahaka goes down, that's the detection. No more detection means uh, Dahaka's wave literally cannot fight Borazun either. Um, I mean, I hope the Hawk has some worms in the uh, in reserve. Oh man, all those defensive structures getting getting imprisoned by the DTs with their void prison ability here. Holy. Okay. Okay. And then. Oh, here comes the August Grad wave here. The August Grad wave is just gonna decimate Swan's wave here. Ooh. Okay, the Thors are pretty weak. I'm surprised the August Grads didn't go for the air units here. But uh, the ground units here just got smacked because of those August Grads here. And August Grads are like, they're like David Copperfield, dude. They make things disappear. Um, there we go. Boom. 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 I mean, there we go. August Grads are getting knocked out here. Laser Beam. Laser beam. Got a scan coming out here. Is this the wave that does it? Oh, we got a stolen August grad now. Inflame stealing that enemy August grad. They do be flying in now. Oh, is this the wave? Is this it? Is this the one? No, no, no. It's the next one, right? It is so close. Stolen August grad here, just, just blasting. I wonder if the stolen August grad also give allied units extra range because that would be really cool uh, anyways um, holy 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 oh, units getting blown to shreds here so much carnage so many rockets and missiles everything's getting destroyed here boom boom Boom! Units are just getting blown apart. Swans, Ravens just coming in. Okay, okay. We got some. We got. We got the Hell's Angels flying forward into their deaths, getting bamboozled, getting mind controlled, getting everything. And wow, that's one. That's one thing I don't like about the Hell's Angels. They don't land automatically. They just keep flying. Um, and then all those stores just getting stolen here, constantly being restolen. Stolen and restolen. Those stores will be quite helpful, but as soon as they like uh, come back and they turn back, they're just gonna get annihilated. Almost instantly almost instantly here. Okay. Okay. I mean we are we are nearing the 45 minute timer here. So is this it? Is the is the double August grad wave gonna do it? Let's see, do things disappear? Enemy August Grad getting disappeared here. There we go. Okay. Black hammer's going down. Oh, enemy black hammer there. We got some we got some ultralists coming in here. Hell's Angels followed by uh, explosive sporlings. We gotta try and Oh, did all of them just die to the black hammer there? I'm not even sure. I mean they explode, right? So like that's just what they do. Units coming in here. Okay. Is there a black hole? There has to be a black it's probably a black hole that comes down here. I mean, this whole Vor Zoom wave here is just gonna get caught by absolutely nothing here. Oh, that's it, boys. Oh, that has to be it. Everything's gonna hit the Nexus here. Oh! That's it, right? Oh, that was one hell of a game, boys. Woo! Jesus.
I'm just gonna drop a pause here. Hold on. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take command as. Uh, as I'm gonna take command of Inflames as perspective here. There we go. Holy! I just want to see. I just want to see the, the the stats. Um. Damn. Oh wait. I I overwrote Inflames' name. <laughs> Anyways. Um. Inflames actually did so much damage here. Took a lot of damage too. Damn. Okay. And enemy Manx is doing quite a lot of damage here. Enemy Tahaka actually doing the least damage. Hmm. I guess late game he kind of dropped off a little bit because he just became sort of a frontline tank. Um, but wow. Let's have a look at the compositions here. Um, lots of Corsairs just unslicing everything. We got we got Stalkers at the front to just do some stacking. Lots of Archons just steal everything. Just bamboozle everything here. How are the kills? Uh, okay, Corsair's got lots of kills here. What about the invisible tanks? 69 kills, boys. There we go. Uh, there we go. And then, oh, this this Augustgrad's still leveling up here. This Augustgrad's got 48 kills. All right, 71 on this one. How do, how do these Thors do? 34, 25 on these ones. Okay, I guess you know, tanks are doing okay. Goliaths do not too bad. I'm, just, I'm curious how these Thors did. 74, 134. 125. Yeah, they do do they did do quite a lot of damage here. Enemy August grad though, not it. That is not it. Didn't do much damage. Um, got the bulwark. Okay. Well, if you guys enjoyed this shoutcast on the be sure to leave a like and send in your replays on the Discord channel if you have any spicy replays. Uh, and I'll be sure to get get to them. But yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later. <laughs> the tires let's light some fires you need a light they picked the wrong fight